This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is uh, Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. Happy birthday, John. Uh, the title of this rant is, Should Trump and His Cronies Be Charged with, war, with Crimes Against Humanity? Uh, we could also say war crimes. We could also say genocide. Uh, but this is basically that right now there is a House committee, not the January 6th committee, but another committee that is basically looking into what our COVID response was, how we can improve it, what went wrong, etc. And um, the thing is that we saw th the moral outrage that we saw when we saw what was going on with the Trump administration, administration in real time responding to the pandemic. Uh, that was short-lived because every single day there was another uh, outrage about how they were responding to the, to, the, to the committee. I mean, excuse me, to the pandemic. And this committee needs to, in, needs to look into all of that. And that's one of the things about a committee that is so important is that they can look back. They can look back and look in depth into to each day into each event that, in terms of a response that may have happened in each day, and what were all of the underlying things that were going on, and what was the administration doing behind the scenes before they came out with their public announcements. Um, and we have to do this from the beginning of the pandemic in late 2019, early 2020, uh, until the January of 2021. And basically what we're seeing right now and what we will continue to see is a tremendous, tremendous amount of, let's just say, gross incompetence. And I don't even need to go into any of the details because we've all seen them. Um, and if I would just bring out two separate things is, is that we saw this administration uh, not look for in any way uh, a coordinated response uh, with interagency input from all of the agencies that might be affected by it. It's done solely through the sheer will and force of the White House trying to run this whole thing. And especially the second part was bypassing uh, and handcuffing uh, the CDC into allowing them to do their job uh, in, in, in affecting this response because it was all political. It was about all how it was going to affect Trump. And of course, uh, one last thing on that is that we have to add in, and yes, as always, as always, especially with this, that administration, was there's two help, two extra help or help heaping doses of racism that were in there right from the beginning, uh, because they saw early on in April of 2020 uh, that this pandemic was affecting people of color more than it was affecting white people, especially in the northeastern states. And there was a, con a concerted effort on the part of the White House to uh, regulate, uh, relegate this, uh, uh, to not respond to the blue states uh, and to the people of color because, hey, we want to win the next, the next election and we can let all these people just die, all right? Because uh, it was based on a political strategy. Basically, again, not to help the blue states. And of course, I can go on and on and on. And all of which this has caused this pandemic to go so far out of control. Uh, we are at 700,000 deaths. We're going to have over a million. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, and especially, you know, why did that, that Trump administration, when they went out of office, went against vaccines? They went against this because it would help Joe. And of course, Joe has been nothing but, I would call, a textbook example of good governance. So our review by this committee needs to be uh, very, very thorough. Uh, it's not only just went wrong, but what was immoral and basically what was also illegal. And charges should be brought against Trump, all of his cronies in the White House and everyone else that was sick, sucking off him, and, and especially Jared.